Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Guys, happy new year guys. I hope 2021 is going to be a whole lot better than 2020 and I hope that you guys will be happy, successful and very, very healthy. Now we wanted to start this year by doing something very light, very colorful and very unique and beautiful. So today I'm going to be showing you how I create a table lamp using freeform epoxy. Now, before December 25th, I went and put out a gift box and that on top of that, one of the gift box, I had to do like a flower epoxy and I told you guys it's a free from sculpture that I made. Now, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I mean, guys. And all I did, I put out some plastic uh, on top of my table and I did three because I'm going to be doing a three layer uh, of sculpture. Now, you can use saran wrap, guys, but remember the thicker your plastic is, the better it is because the thinner your plastic is because you have to be extremely careful for when using heat gun on it you don't want to burn your plastic down because that will completely defeat the purpose now all i'm doing i'm gonna go ahead and some uh, adding some clear crystal uh, gemstone around of, on the outer edge just to make sure because i want the, the crystal to be the at the edge but that also will serve as a barrier to you know to stop the epoxy for uh, from like spreading further now i'm gonna go ahead and use alcohol ink for my epoxy guys because i absolutely love using alcohol ink when when I'm doing this because it's giving you that beautiful marbly uh, effect as well as the stained glass, uh, glass effect is very clear but it's very colorful and beautiful now as for the color that I use I'm gonna link uh, the box for you uh, of color that I bought from Amazon in the description like below because I use a lot on the box I actually use every single color in the box except for the brown one so if you want to know which color that I use you have to check it out guys because I don't remember all the colors now again guys I'm going with a very very minimal heat and then I'm gonna just go ahead to soften my epoxy a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and mix you know the colors together now mixing the color together guys there's no right or wrong way of doing it it's just depend on how much you want your color to blend together now I want my color to blend to give me that stained glass marbly effect but I don't I still want to be able to see each one of the individual colors if that make any sense but again it's all depend to you it's all depends on what you want to do now after i finish doing that i'm gonna go ahead and leave it to set for about three and a half hours but what happened is that i was doing something and i completely forgot about it so I came back about a little bit four and a half hour later now my epoxy was set a little bit too much than it was supposed to be so you have to make sure that you keep checking on it guys and the way that you're gonna be uh, sure that your epoxy is ready to be mold or you know sculpt you have to touch you know black you know some part of it uh, and then if you touch it and it doesn't stick to your finger then it's ready you still be flexible but it's not gonna stick to your finger when using it now i'm gonna go ahead and put my epoxy uh, uh plastic sheet on top of the container that i wanted to um, mold it with and i'm using a little bit of heat just to soften it in so i can sculpt it a little bit better now remember guys this part that's at the bottom was the part that was at the top when it was on the table now if you want this part to be the inside of your vase or your sculpture you have to make sure that you put like some type of plastic on top of the container that you're gonna be molding your epoxy on too so that way you know your epoxy doesn't stick to your you know your container or your jaw whatever you're using now again guys i'm just gonna go and do this for each one of the layers and i'm gonna use a little bit of heat to just to soften the epoxy and then using a painter's tape i'm gonna pull the the plastic uh sheet and then mold my epoxy don't put you know the tape on top of the epoxy while it's still like this uh just use the plastic to pull and shape the epoxy the way that you want to do it now after i finish doing that part guys i'm gonna go ahead and let it set for about five hours before i come back now if you're doing just one layer sculpture you don't have to go and uh, remove the plastic um, you don't have to do that part you can just let it let it uh, stay like this and completely cure and harden just like this if you're doing just one layer but because my sculpture uh, my table lamp is gonna have a three layer epoxy i need to remove it while the epoxy is still flexible so i can put them inside each other now as you can see it's a um it's been like five hours it's already night time so what i'm doing right now i'm just gonna go ahead and um 
remove the epoxy uh, from the plastic sheet and then uh, but the uh, the epoxy uh, as you will see guys is still very flexible it's not gonna be hard and like stick hard just like regular epoxy will be because you're you know you know using uh, you know you're flexing the epoxy you're man manipulating it so it's, it's taking a little bit more time to cure and harden so this give you more time to use and play with it now after I'm gonna go ahead and remove the plastic from each one of them I'm gonna use like a long uh, glass jar as an anchor to uh, shape the epoxy and make sure it stay like this and um, um, showing you what I'm, what I'm saying guys is uh, like this part right here is gonna be the middle the center one because that's the one that have the longer um, um, piece I'm gonna put it in the center so this is gonna be layer number three right so I'm gonna go ahead and use this glass jar to anchor this uh, uh, my epoxy my sculpture onto it so this glass i'm gonna be using some painter's tape and i can put tape directly on top of the epoxy right now because it's been set completely so there's gonna not gonna be any mark living on the epoxy it's not gonna be sticking to it so i'm gonna just go ahead and um shape my epoxy now this is the last chance that you have to kind of mold the epoxy uh, the way that you want um for it to uh, to set now again i'm gonna go with each one of them remove the plastic and, and then i'm gonna assemble my lamp and putting each layer you know inside each other and then i'm gonna go ahead and let it set overnight and then the next morning when you come the epoxy should be hard enough for you to just leave it like this again guys thank you so much so much for being here i wanted to start this year very light very simple guys thank you thank you for being here thank you for an amazing 2020 guys again so many subscribers so many beautiful comments some so many likes thank you so much guys and i hope guys we spend we're gonna have an amazing 2021 guys i hope that is gonna be amazing for you and your family i hope you're gonna be healthy and happy and very successful very healthy guys take it one step at a time leave the past in the past whatever happened to 2020 whatever happened in 2020 leave it behind and move forward and enjoy your 2021 and guys this is the next day i'm just gonna go ahead and remove uh, my tape that was like uh, uh that was uh, i used to shape the epoxy and then what i'm gonna be doing now i'm gonna be putting some crystal in the center now what happened is that the part that's uh in the middle that uh, long part it was kind of like uh, um bending a little bit and i didn't like that so i wanted to i wanted it to stay um stand straight so i will go ahead and soften it uh, with some heat gun as well so i can remold this part and make sure it stands straight now to add my crystal um my big crystal gem to the inside i'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of clear epoxy and then i'm gonna brush it uh, also on top of the one that have like the long uh uh, stand epoxy in the middle and I'm gonna hit some heat gun on it and as you can see I soften it a little bit and then now I'm, I will be able to use some tape and then I'm gonna pull it and make sure it's it gonna cure stain straight and tall because that's how I want it I didn't want it to bend over all the way to close the the sculpture because I need to put like a light bulb in there to create my lamp so after I finish adding my um my crystal in the middle and I put a little bit of epoxy on top of it now I'm gonna be using the same alcohol ink guys and I put on top of the crystal because I didn't want the crystal to stay clear inside I want everything to be um, blended together so I put my crystal now and also use uh, some tape to anchor uh, that part to the table and I let it cure like this overnight and in the next morning when I wake up everything was now nice and hard and as you can see the center part where I have the long part is now standing straight 
in i like it like this and as you can see also guys you can see how all the crystal the clear crystal that i put on the outer edge are like now completely have colors in them is because the epoxy had uh, were, uh bled into the those crystal where the where i have the alcohol ink whatever color that was in that part of the epoxy bled into the crystal and it become this beautiful colorful uh amazing um, colored uh, crystals I absolutely love the colors guys so now to create uh, the light bulb I'm gonna be using this fairy um, this fairy string light I got this from Amazon the box came with six I'll leave the link for you again guys in the description box below now this is an old uh, light bulb that I had is uh, done it's not working anymore and I went and cut the uh, cut the bottom part those are like um, LED uh, light bulb uh, but those are very nice to work with because they come screw you can screw uh, uh those parts together so it's very easy for you to remove everything that's inside and have an empty shell so you can use by yourself so i absolutely love those light bulb guys so i went and removed every single thing that's in it clean it a little, a little bit with some alcohol and then now i'm gonna put it aside and we're gonna use it for later on now because i want to have a very clean cut you know uh lamp i'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, when rotary tool i got this also from amazon guys and this i absolutely love this little tool because uh, it come with uh, so many accessories on it i'll leave the link for you in the description box below as well guys if you want to check it out it's perfect if you want to use it for a small project like this so i'm gonna go ahead and drill all three layers guys and um uh, on the back this is gonna be the back it's it was a little bit hard for me to do it on camera so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off camera guys uh, because it was hard for me to hold it film and then try to make sure I don't mess the whole thing up so after I finish drilling the hole going from the first second and the third layer I'm gonna go ahead and thread the string light into those holes and pull it on the out you know on the inside so we're gonna thread the light completely on the inside and then once we finish doing that i'm gonna go ahead and pull uh, the lights um the string of light we're gonna uh pull put the whole thing inside the light bulb and then we're gonna be using some e6000 in hot glue to glue or a uh, light bulb inside the um the lamp and also we're gonna be doing the same thing for the switch on the back we're gonna glue it with some e6000 and hot glue to make sure it stays neat and then we're also gonna cover the hole that we drilled on the back as well with the low switch on and off uh, so that way you have like an easy access to turn on and off your, uh, your the lamp now all I'm doing right now is I'm gonna thread the the string of light inside the light bulb completely and using like a little stick to make sure that the the whole thing is fit nicely inside the low light bulb and then again we're gonna uh, um, glue it down and then after I finish gluing it down guys to make sure it's gonna be stay there permanently and not gonna move we're gonna be using a little bit of clear epoxy again around the light bulb inside the lamp and make sure it's cured and it's gonna stay put in nice and that's it our lamp's gonna be done after we finish that i let it sit for about like four to six hours before i go and you know try to do anything with it making sure the light bulb was completely cured you know in the epoxy that we put on the inside it's a very super super easy uh um diy to do guys sculpture uh you know epoxy to make like beautiful bowls and beautiful sculpture is a very easy you have to make sure that you use like a plastic that have like a nice consistency to it if you're gonna use any type of heat on it now you can use like i said saran wrap but you have to make sure you be very very careful when you're using the heat on it to pop any bubbles and guys this is on the lip what it looks like it's completely done it's so beautiful guys i love 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 how light reflect into it because it's so beautiful and so colorful but it's clear at the same time guys in the crystal around it oh, perfect beautiful i love how the crystal take on the colors of the epoxy and the alcohol and that bleed into it guys i'm, I'm telling you this is gonna be like one 
a beautiful sculpture you can do for anybody for your house you and you can do it not just with alcohol and guys you can use mica powder you can do it clear with crystal you can do it clear with glitter whatever you want to do guys you can do it epoxy doesn't really need a mold as long as you know what you're doing you can freeform it and do any kind of amazing beautiful stuff with epoxy as you can see when the whole thing is completely cured and finished it's so pretty so beautiful i am so in love with it guys this is a video for this year our very first video of 2021 i hope you love it i hope you enjoy it if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up guys like share with your friends and family and also guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel that will help me out a lot and also guys thank you thank you again for an amazing 2020 i had so many of you subscribe to my channel i have so many beautiful comments that you guys left for me so many likes i thank you a lot guys i cannot thank you enough enough and i hope for 2021 we're gonna grow our sugar plum family a whole lot more bigger and we're gonna have some amazing diy for this year guys and i hope again i hope and wish you all the health and wealth and happiness for you and your family that's it guys this is a video for the first video for this year i hope you enjoy it guys and i'll see you soon i'll see you for another video sometimes very soon guys i love you so 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 very much thank you guys for making my year my day and thank you again from the bottom of my heart i love you guys so so much so i'll see you soon bye guys and you know as always be blessed and stay blessed. Bye. Mwah. Never quite seem to last and the future is so far away.